Fix and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here joined with Nick Earl, Earl Sports Bets, Terry Edelman. Talk week 16 of the CFL. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe. Use the promo code below. Save you 20% off when you head over to picksandparlays.net. Links in the description of the video. Head over there, get everybody's premium plays, best bets, subscription packages, everything over at the website. You can use that promo code, save you 20% off. These guys are going to go through the CFL Week 16. We're going to start it off with the early game on Friday. Two Friday games, two Saturday games. Uh, Tiger Cats and the Argonauts. Toronto minus six and a half, totals at 53 and a half. Uh, Nick Earl, where are you going with this one? What are your thoughts here? Yeah, uh, it's a high total, but it's a high total for a reason. Both these teams have figured out their offense the last few weeks. Chad Kelly finally getting adjusted back to that offense. They put up 28 against Hamilton, 27 against Ottawa, 33 against BC, and they return home for this game uh, after Ooh. three games on the road where I think we could see uh, Toronto's offense really click Um here at home. And on the flip side, we have the Ticats coming in off of back-to-back -back wins where they put up 31 and 37 points. Their offense is starting to click. Now, their offense hasn't really been the problem this year. It's their defense and it's the interceptions by Bo Levi Mitchell uh, that's really done than the Ticats in. And I still, their, their defense has been better, but it's still not a defense I trust. They've gone over the total in four of their last five games. The only game that went under the total went under by a singular point. So I'm on the over here, over 53 and a half. And I probably look maybe towards some type of Toronto team total over something like that. I do think Toronto wins this game and it goes over. Shootout, shootout, shootout points. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked that over 53 and a half. Hamilton and Toronto from Nick Earl. Now we're going to keep this party going. Saskatchewan and the Rough Riders, minus two and a half on the road, taking on the Calgary Stampeders. Uh, totals 50 and a half. Terry Edelman, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Yeah, the Rough Riders have been in a uh, tailspin. Uh, I believe they've lost seven in a row now. and um, Or maybe they have the tie there uh, involved in that. But they have just been falling apart uh, recently. Uh, and now they face this Calgary team uh, who was undefeated at home, but now they're 4-2-1 at home. Uh, Calgary uh, is the worst team in the CFL. I said that in the preseason. They started pretty hot and kind of, and Edmonton started really cold, and it kind of right. looked like maybe uh, the Elks were worse. But as we've seen <laughs> the season go on, the Elks have been going up and the Stampeders have been going down. Uh, so for me, this is the spot for the Rough Riders to get right. Uh, so I like the Rough Riders minus two and a half to get the job done here in Calgary. Uh, the Rough Riders. Don't know exactly how they finish this season, but uh, if they're going to win a game, it's this one. If they're going to win a game, it's this one. I like that. Uh, listen, I, I just think Calgary, it's not that they got worse. Uh, they're consistently bad, Calgary. And and you know what happened to the Elks? They started slow and then they got bad. Calgary just stayed shit. Uh, so Saskatchewan Rough Riders minus two and a half. We'll keep this party going here. Nick Earl is going to talk Montreal and Ottawa. Alouettes minus two and a half. Total sits at 49 and a half. What says you? Yeah, uh, the Ottawa uh, Red Blacks for me have come become one of my favorite types of teams in the sports betting world, and it's predictable. Uh, this team is <laughs> yeah. undefeated. This game team has not lost a game at home this season. They're two and three on the road. So they're more bet against on the road mm -hmm. where they've lost back to back games. Um, but at home, they have yet to lose. The worst they've done was that 22-22 tie against Saskatchewan. On the other side, though, we do have the Montreal Alouettes, who are undefeated on the road, uh, where they are coming in off of get a tie, an, another right. tie here against yeah. the Calgary Stampeders. Football. And we, we, we warned you guys a couple weeks ago with the Alouettes-BC game that the Alouettes, they've already clinched their playoff spot. They've I mean, they still got the Red Blacks kind of breathing down their necks here mm -hmm. for, for the Eastern Division. Um, but this is not a team we can trust to cover numbers, especially like especially as favorites. They failed to cover as seven-point favorites against B, uh, Edmonton. They lost outright as three-and-a-half-point favorites against BC. They tied as six-point favorites against the Calgary Stampeders. And right. I look for them to continue to struggle to cover numbers here. I got plus three with the Ottawa Red Blacks is when I, where I got it at. Um, right. 
I think it's around minus 124. I think that in this league, it's worth the half point there. Uh, but I like the Red Blacks here, and I think they could potentially win this game. Uh, this is a big matchup for Ottawa if they want to continue to push for the East Division. And I think maybe Montreal is a little bit vulnerable. Now they do – I believe last game they did get – Tyler Sneed back, and they got a couple other receivers back as well. Um, but I still see this Montreal team kind of on coast mode. They know they're making the playoffs. Yeah. And and this is just, I think, three points. At the very worst, I think we push this game. I was going to say, and you could still find this out there. Uh, you could still find a three, two and a half. We know how CFL works. Shop your lines. Uh, you can find a two and a half, three. I think my, uh, Ottawa at home. This is a game they want it bad here. And I think uh, Montreal just, you know, trying to get to the playoffs here, uh, coast through here. So I'm, I'm with you here at Ottawa plus the three. Terry Edelman, Winnipeg, and the Edmonton Elks. Blue Bombers minus 122, totals at 49 and a half. What do you say here on this matchup? Yeah, well, for people that don't know me, I've given the Elks a hard time. Uh, I've been, I've been kind of hard on this Edmonton Elks team. Now, of course, they did have the longest home uh, losing streak in professional sports. So that was just something that was real uh, and something, a handicapping tool. Uh, but if you guys remember two weeks ago, the Elks were at home and we did this rapid fire and I gave out the Elks to win uh, despite being at home. Uh, and they won uh, 37 to 16 in that game. This Edmonton Elks team is just not the same Edmonton Elks team as the team that lost all those home games. And even the team that started this season, this Elks right. team has changed so much. Now they're facing the team that currently leads the West Division of Winnipeg at 7-6. and six. Winnipeg has the defensive advantage, but Edmonton has the offensive advantage. And I'm not going to say home field is an advantage, but I'm taking the Elks <laughs> here. Taking That's the hard to say dog, when you're talking about Edmonton, right? Yeah. I I just – you can't look at them being at home and being an auto-fade anymore because that's just not the case. So this team's hot, trying to get into the play into the uh, the playoffs. I like the Bears as a home dog. I like this here. Nice price for them. And you, you know what? I hate to say it with, with points and stuff like that. The CFL, boy, I, I like the Elks and I, as a home dog. Just let that sink in. And if you know, you know. Edmonton Elks on the money line. We'll give you a quick little recap. First, you guys got to like, share, subscribe. Use the promo code below if you haven't already over at picksandparlays.net. Get everybody's premium plays, best bets over at the website. Uh, Nick Earl likes the over in the Tiger ha uh, Tiger Cats and the Argonauts over 53 and a half on Friday. Uh, and he also likes the Ottawa Red Blacks at home against Montreal. That's just going to be a good game. I want to live bet that game. I want to watch that game here. Uh, Terry Edelman likes Saskatchewan and the Rough Riders. And he also likes the home dog Edmonton Elks on the money line. Good luck unless you're against this week 16 CFL. Take care, folks.